If you are a programmer or you are learning programming or you want to kickstart a career in programming or you want to improve your skills in programming, there is absolutely no reason for you not to be learning or using Spring Boot. Spring Boot is the easiest way to learn programming and also work with programming at the same time. And what is the reason? The reason is because Spring Boot is the easiest way to build Java applications while learning programming at the same time. I actually started making a lesson in Python, but I have to suspend that lesson and start working with Spring Boot. The reason is because it takes very short time to build application and also to learn Spring Boot at the same time. I'm telling you this from my own experience. When I started learning Spring Boot, it took me just a few weeks to be able to learn uh, programming, learn Spring Boot, learn Java, and also build application at the same time. So this is something you should do. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel so that you follow along in this lesson. Now, what is Spring Boot? You can read this yourself if you want. You can pause the video and read it. How can you learn? The problem is that many programmers actually start going to write programs without actually following the right procedure. So these are four steps I've made out for you. One of them, follow along in your computer. So just don't just watch this video. Open your computer and follow along. And the good thing is Spring Boot tools, the IDE, the compiler, Everything is free for you, so you can pull along, download it, and use. Keep the step-by-step -step procedure page open. So in my class, in my course, uh, these tutorials I'm making, I have step-by-step -step procedure of everything, every keystroke, every mouse click, every step-by-step uh, uh, -step procedure you need to follow is outlined, written there in the procedure page I'm going to show you after now. Step three, take some time to read the concept. So for each each uh, each action you take or something you do, there are some concepts you may like to learn. For instance, what is dependency injection? What is a REST controller? What is dependency management? Uh, what is an API and things like that. Another thing you want to do is to ask for help. So if you have a question, uh, there are many people in this class learning along. So if you get stuck or you receive, receive an error message, Copy this error message and, um, and put it in the comment box below this video. You just ask, I have this error message, I need some help, and you'll get to receive help immediately. So don't give up. Uh, in a few weeks, you will learn Spring Boot very easily. If you want, you can read this. If not, I'm going to just show you the tutorials page and also the lessons page. So now this is the procedures page. So every uh, code snippet you are going to use, this is a step-by-step. -step. So you have the code snippet provided for you and you have uh, um, this, the, what you need to do is also provided for you. So this is how we are going to do it. So uh, quickly start because the next tutorial is actually the first tutorial in this series. Download Spring Boot, set it up on your system, and start building application. So there is the video tutorials page. So this is me explaining, and we have this procedures page open, and you have you need to follow along in your computer as well. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to recommend you don't give up. Spring Boot is the best way to learn Java programming, and please uh, subscribe and not and activate the notify button below beside the subscribe button so that you get notified when I make new lessons. As of this time, we are up to tutorial time, so you can be up to speed and meet up and see follow along in the class. I'd like to thank you for viewing, and I hope that in, in very few weeks, you become a Spring Boot professional programmer.